In the 16th century, the Tanggu dynasty united the various states in modern-day Burma and took over a lot of modern-day Thailand and Laos. They however soon collapsed due to infighting and Portuguese attacks. But by the middle of the 18th century, the Konbaung dynasty reunified the region and once again invaded Thailand. But the Chinese got involved and forced the Burmese to retreat from Thailand to protect against this new threat. And with the Chinese and a resurgent Thai army in the east, the Burmese had to look west to expand. As such, in the late 18th century, they seized the Rakhine state, and in the early 19th century, they were asked to intervene in Assam. Assam had managed to maintain their independence in India despite numerous Muslim invasions and local British authority, but they suffered from rebellions and social upheaval during this period. And the young king, Sudingpa, fell under the influence of the Burha Gohain, one of his chief counsellors, who began to appoint his family into powerful positions and grow in power. So his political opponents appealed to the British in India and the Burmese to remove his counsellor from power. And although the British refused to get involved, King Bodaupaya of Burma agreed. So he sent his armies in and by 1822 he took over most of Assam and neighbouring Manipur, but this meant he now bordered British India. So the East India Company quickly offered support to rebels, but the Burmese occupied Salpuri Island, which was claimed by the East India Company in September 1823. Then in January 1824 to retaliate against the British for funding rebels, 10,000 Burmese troops under General Maha Bandula invaded British India and navigated through the jungles. However, 10,000 British troops were sent by sea to capture Yangon, catching the Burmese royal court completely by surprise. The new Burmese king, Bagyidor, ordered all troops to return from India to protect Yangon, while the British began to build fortifications around their position at the Shui Dagon Pagoda. By November, General Bandula had returned with over 30,000 men, while the British had lost a great deal of their forces to disease. So Bandula attacked the fortified British position, but continuous charges up the steep hill cost them dearly, as thousands were killed by British rockets and artillery. So by December, Bandula was forced to fall back to Danubiu, just outside Yangon. However, by March, the British finally assaulted his now decimated army. Initial assaults were driven back, but when Bandula tried to break through the British using elephants and cavalry, they were crushed with sustained artillery fire. And on the 1st of April, Bandula was killed by a stray mortar shell, which broke the Burmese morale, and they subsequently withdrew without any resistance. So the British in Burma were now free to push onto the town of Prome. Meanwhile, in Assam, the British had sent 10,000 men to deal with the remaining Burmese there. And also on the 1st of April, they defeated the Burmese at Morag U, allowing the British to occupy the rest of Assam. The Burmese did manage to put up some resistance in the jungles of Kachar, and peace negotiations began that September. However, the month-long armistice broke down as the British demanded too much land from the Burmese. So, in November 1825, the Burmese tried to counter-attack and sent an army to surround the British at Prome, cutting off their lines of communication. However, they once again pushed back and the British advanced onto Bagan. But by now, both sides were exhausted due to the war and negotiations began again in late December. Then, in February 1826, the Treaty of Yandabo was signed, where the Burmese were forced to hand over a great deal of land and pay indemnities. However, despite his success, Governor General Lord Amherst faced criticism for his management of the war, which cost the lives of over 15,000 men and upwards of £1 billion in today's money. For the Burmese, however, they could never regain the power they once had and would lose two more wars against the British in the 19th century before finally being annexed. 